Hi everyone, hope you're well. Today I wanted to highlight one of my most favorite dwarf chiclets, the giant checkerboard chiclet or Cranicara punchulata. This is not a commonly available chiclet. In fact, I had to wait a very long time to find this group. It is also not very flashy or super colorful chiclet. However, I personally think it is beautiful in its own way. And more importantly, its behavior and browsing habits are fun to watch. What also makes this chiclet very unique is that if a group of them do not have a male, the largest female can transform into a male. And then after that, if the male dies or disappears from the group, then the largest of the remaining females will transform into a male as well. In the first half of this video, you saw two females. You see one in the frame right now. The females have orange pelvic and anal fins, and they have a light tinge of orange in the bottom half of their dorsal fin. You can see that right now in the frame. The males all look like females or are females when young. Then as they grow and transform into a male, they slowly lose their orange pelvic and anal fins. Also, their dorsal fins can get more elongated with fin extensions going past the tail of caudal fin, as you can see in the frame right now. I've also found them to be very docile for a chick lid, and they happily browse the tank as a group, which in my case includes three females, an alpha male, and a beta male. If you're looking for a chick lid that is uncommon, doesn't grow more than four inches in size, and has unique traits, and one that you can keep more than a pair or singly, then I would highly recommend this chiclet. The male that you see right now in the frame is the beta male. You'll see that he still has a little bit of orange in his pelvic fin. Hope this video was enjoyable and informative. Until next time, take care, be kind, bye.